Hey guys, welcome to Learning Lad, and in this video, we will see how we can write a simple C++ program to check whether the number entered by the user is a prime number or a composite number. So now, before getting started, let us see what exactly is a prime number and what exactly is a composite number. A prime number is a natural number greater than one that is completely divisible only by one and itself. For example, if you look at the number three, then this number three is greater than one. It is a natural number. And if you look at the numbers, which will divide this number three completely, then they are one, two will not divide three completely. And the next number is three. Since this number three is greater than one and it is completely divisible only by one and itself, this three is a prime number. Similarly, if you look at the number seven, then this number seven is greater than one. It is a natural number. And if you look at the numbers, which will divide this number seven completely, then they are one and seven. So since this number is completely divisible only by one and itself, we can say that this number seven is a prime number. If you look at this for every prime number, we get only two factors. They are one and the number itself. Now, if a number, for example, let's say six. Now this number six is greater than one. It is a natural number. And if you look at the numbers, which will divide this number six completely, then they are one, two, three, and six. This number six has the numbers other than one and itself, which will divide it completely. So this number six is not a prime number. If a natural number greater than one is not a prime number, then we call that number as a composite number. So a prime number has only two factors, one and the number itself, and the composite numbers have more than two numbers as the factors. Now, if you look at the number one, then the numbers which will divide this number one completely are one only. Now here, for this number one, we have only one factor, which is one. So this number one is neither prime nor composite. Now here in this program, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user to enter the number to check for prime or composite. Then we will read the input from the user. We will perform some checks on the uh, number entered by the user, and then we will check it for prime or composite, and then we will display the appropriate message. So let us see how we can uh, write this program. Here I have uh, already written some code. Uh, I have included the iostream header file so that we can uh, so that we can get the basic input output operations. And then I have mentioned that we will be using the namespace std by using the using keyword. This allows us to use c in c out directly uh, since they are defined inside this namespace std. Otherwise with them we have to use std all the time and after that we have this main function which is the entry point of our program so here the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to declare the variables that we are going to use in this program the first variable will be for storing the number entered by the user it will be of type integer and i'm going to call it as number and then we need another variable we will use it as a flag to store the status of the number whether it is prime or not so we will have the boolean type and i'm going to call it as is prime and i'm going to initialize this variable with a value of true now in order to find whether this number is prime or composite what we will do is we will take the number entered by the user and we will start dividing this number from two that's because we know that the number one will always divide the number, whatever the number entered by the user. So there is no need of checking for that. So we will start from the number two. So what we are trying to find out here is whether the number entered by the user has any number which will divide it completely or the number entered by the user has any factors other than one and itself. So that's why we will start dividing this number entered by the user from two. So we will check the reminder value when we divide this number by two. So if the reminder is zero, then it means that the number entered by the user is completely divisible by two or two will divide the number entered by the user completely. So 
this number cannot be a prime number because it has numbers other than one and itself which will divide it completely so for example if the user is going to enter let's say 6 then we will start dividing this number from 2 so here when we divide the number 6 by 2 we get the reminder as 0 it means that 2 will divide this number 6 completely so this 6 is not a prime number so we come to know about that here now if we get the reminder a non-zero value for example user is gonna enter the number 7 so at that time also we will start dividing this number 7 from 2 so when we do that we won't get the reminder as 0 we get the reminder a non-zero value which is 1 so that means that 2 is not the number which will divide the number entered by the user completely. So we will go to the next number which is 3 and we will check whether 3 divides the number entered by the user completely or not. So at that time if you get the reminder as 0 then it means that the number entered by the user is not a prime number. So we will stop. If we get the reminder as a non-zero value again when we divide the number by 3 then we go to the next number so we will go to 4 and we will again uh, divide the number entered by the user by 4 and we will check the reminder value so we will continue to do this and we will check whether the number entered by the user is divisible by the numbers other than 1 and itself so now for how long we have to check now this is one thing that we have to see here so let us say the user is going to enter the number 10 now the possible range of numbers which can divide this number 10 completely are from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we can easily say that the numbers 6, 7, 8, 9 cannot divide the number 10 completely. And uh, of course we know that 10 will divide the number uh, uh, 10 completely but we are not going to check that because 1 and 10 will divide it completely we already know that so we will not check it so we will start from 2 and we will go up to certain level to check whether the number is divisible by these numbers so here when we have 10 the possible range of numbers which can divide it completely are from 2 to 5 so here this 5 which is the maximum limit of this range is actually the half of the number 10 so if the user is going to enter let's say uh, 30 then the possible range of numbers which can divide this number 30 completely are if you don't count 1 then it will be from 2 to 15 so we can easily say that the numbers from 16 to 29 will not divide it completely so we don't have to check after 16 so here we will continue this till we reach number divided by 2 so when we read this number divided by 2 whatever that value may be uh, if we still don't find that any number divides the number entered by the user completely then it means that the number entered by the user is a prime number so in our program what we're gonna do is first we will have a flag uh, called as is prime and we will say it is true first we assume that the number entered by the user is a prime number so all we have to do is we have to find a number which will divide the number entered by the user completely and we have to set this flag as false. So whenever we find this reminder as zero, we will set this is prime flag as false. So when we're done checking for these numbers, we will come to know that whether the number is prime or not by checking out the flag that is is prime in this case. Uh, let us declare another variable which we will uh, use to divide the number entered by the user and I'm going to call it as divisor. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to ask the user to enter the number to check for prime or composite. So I'm going to use the cout and I'm going to specify the message in here as enter the number to check for prime or composite and then we will insert the uh, end line so that whatever that we're gonna print and after this will appear in a new line and then we will read the input entered by the user or we will read the number entered by the user using cin and we will store that in the number variable 
Now here, since we are asking the user to enter the number to check for prime or composite, user can enter a value less than or equal to zero, or he can enter one, or he can enter a positive number greater than one. So we will write the code to check for all these scenarios. First, we will check whether the number entered by the user is less than one or not whether the user has entered zero or negative numbers in that case we will display a message to the user saying that number needs to be greater than one now after this if the user has entered the number one then we will check for that so we will have else if conditional statement in here and here the condition will be number is equal to one whether the user has entered the number one in this case we will say one is neither prime nor composite okay if the user has entered a number greater than one then we will check whether that number is prime or composite so here what we do is we will start dividing the number entered by the user from two and we will uh, continue to divide it until we reach number divided by two. So we will use a for loop in here and here we will initialize the divisor variable with a value of two and the condition will be divisor less than or equal to number divided by two and after that we will increment the value of the divisor variable. So this will provide us the value starting from two and up to number divided by two. So every time here, uh, what we have to do is we have to check whether the number stored in this divisor variable completely divides the number entered by the user. We, so we can check for that by using the if conditional statement and by writing the condition if number I'm going to group this in a parenthesis number modulus operator divisor is equal to zero. Here we are checking when we divide the value stored in the number variable by the value stored in this divisor variable, what we get as the reminder, whether it is zero or not. If we get the reminder as zero, it means that the number entered by the user is completely divisible by the value present in this divisor variable. It means that the number entered by the user has a number other than one and itself, which will divide it completely. So it means the number entered by the user is not a prime number. So here in our program, in the beginning, we have set a flag saying that the number is a prime number. So here we come to know that this number is not a prime number. So we will change the flag, which is is prime and we will make it as false. Okay. Once we know that the number entered by the user is not a prime number, we can stop checking for uh, next numbers, whether the next numbers will divide it completely or not, because there's no use of that. So we will break the for loop or we will stop this for loop by using this break statement. Okay. So when we come out of this for loop, we will come to know whether the number entered by the user is the prime number or not. And we can say that by checking out this flag or, or this Boolean variable, which is is prime. So we will check for the is prime variables value and we will display the appropriate message. So we will check if is prime variable is containing true, then it means that the number entered by the user is a prime number. So we will display that number is a prime number else if the is prime variable is not containing true if it is containing false it means that the number entered by the user is a composite number and we will display that here okay now we have written the program in here let's run this enter the number to check for prime or composite i'm gonna enter three it says three is a prime number i'm gonna run it one more time this time i'm gonna enter one one is neither prime nor composite i'm gonna run it one more time this time 
I'm gonna enter a negative number like negative nine. Number needs to be greater than one. And I'm gonna run it one more time. And this time I'm gonna enter six. It says six is a composite number. So here we have written our program and it is working uh, properly. So this is how you guys can write a simple C++ program to check whether the number entered by the user is a prime number or a composite number. If you like this video, then hit the like button. If you don't like it, then hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.